Howdy, in this video we're going to take a look at my new hand warmers. Uh, I don't go hunting anymore. It's been quite a few years since I've gone hunting. I've actually uh, left it to my grandson to bring home the deer meat at this point, and he's doing a fine job, I have to say. But I do take my dog out walking every morning, and when it gets down below 40 degrees, it's a little chilly. And the further we get into winter, the colder it's going to get. So I got these cozy little hand warmers, and I'm going to enjoy a cozy winter. Now they uh, are direct from China, and the product name is Hand Warmers, and they give a model number as if that means anything. But the thing that I am impressed with, these uh, have a much larger battery than other hand warmers I have tried. These are 7,000 milliamp hour batteries in each uh, unit. And the last set I had was uh, 4,000 milliamp hours in each unit. So uh, this should last a lot longer. So now that we've unboxed the hand warmers, let's take a look and see how they operate. So uh, first of all, they've got two switches. So you have a power switch right here on the top and you've got a uh, mode selector switch here on the front of it. And of course we have the LED display and we also have a little LED flashlight in the back as well as two charging ports. We've got a USB-C and a USB-A and honestly I'm not sure why they put the USB-A on there. Everything is going to USB-C so it seems to be that would be more than adequate. And the other thing, I'm not really sure why they put a little flashlight in the back. Uh, it's not much of a flashlight in my opinion but we'll take a look at that. So if we just press the uh, power button one time, we'll see the uh, uh, readout there of our battery level. And uh, in order to turn the uh, hand warmer on, you press and hold the uh, power button. Now you see we've got an L1 displayed there. So the L indicates that it's heating on one side only. And uh, that is the back side that heats up if it's only a heat, only a single sided heating and you can press the mode selector to cycle through the four levels uh, that are available. Now if you press and hold the mode selector then that uh, shows an H which I assume they mean for high intensity but uh, you know it's uh, actually uh, both sides are heating now so it's the front and the back are heating and again, you've got the same selector mode to, select, to cycle through the uh, four selections there. And uh, when I was out using it uh, earlier, I uh, decided that uh, either level two or three would be more than adequate uh, depending on uh, the outside air temperature. It would have to be pretty cold for me to get to level four because that gets very toasty in a hurry. So that's the basic function of the hand warmer. It does heat up very rapidly. It's already quite warm in my hand here. And uh, the only other function we have is that little uh, LED light. Uh, and to turn that on, you just double click. And as you can see, it is not much of a light. So uh, double click again to turn it off. And uh, that is the basic operation. So next we'll uh, take a look at the uh, unit actually outside in the cold and see how it did. And we're also going to take a look at that little LED light in real world conditions. So in regard to my hand warmers, they do work good. And uh, I've just finished a walk with uh, Sebastian here in the park. And clearly it's after dark, so there you go. But the one thing that I commented on that I don't really see why they included on this hand warmer is that little light. So just to illustrate what I'm talking about, we'll just double click to turn it on here. So the light is on and down there you see, and let me zoom in on it. So down there is a little uh, hair tie that some girl lost. And I've been taking a photo of that every day when I come over to the park and I intend to do a little time lapse just to see how long it lasts. But my point with all this is the light from the little uh, hand warmer, I guess is kind of okay, but it's not much of a light. And I will show you what I mean. So 
I've got a little bitty baby flashlight that I carry with me uh, for just lighting up various whatevers when I'm walking the dog. And there's the little baby flashlight. Uh, so we'll turn it on so you can see it's a pretty small little flashlight. But even on dim there, and that is the dim setting for the flashlight, it's a, a pretty good little light and double click for bright and you can see it's quite a nice little light. So, uh, yeah, I don't really see the point in the light on the hand warmer. I have another review that I'm doing on flashlights in general. And, you know, you saw my little baby flashlight there. Here's the flashlight. So that is the one that will be in the flashlight review. As you can see, it's a daggum good flashlight. So there you go. Watch out for my flashlight review. But in the meantime, let's take a little look at how long the batteries last with a time-lapse video. I'm including here a, a discharge test on the hand warmers. Now I did this as a time-lapse and I set the uh, hand warmers to double-sided heating on level 4 in order to drain the batteries as quickly as possible. And I will note that this was done in my office where I keep it 72 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, out in the cold they may, all, may well discharge more quickly but as any case you can take a look here and see how long they managed to last in the office <laughs> 